What's up guys, your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about Pain and Conan again. Uh, this video is pretty much going to be Should You Summon. Uh, some people have requested me to do this video. Um, I should have dropped it yesterday, but I forgot to even do the video until they said it. So, um, big shout out to those people. Um, and before we get into the video, I just want to say a couple of things. Um, I know content has slowed down. Like, I haven't been posting like once a day or twice a day. I've been posting like every other day. And... That's because, like, after anniversary, Blazing is just, like, it's, it's really slowed down. Like, Blazing has just really got, like, slow, in a sense. I don't know. I mean, like, I know they're still releasing new stuff, but it's just, I don't know. But anyways, um, on that note, though, um, I don't know if you guys know what Battle Right is, but Battle Right is, like, a PvP MOBA, if anyone knows what that is in the comment section. But, uh, anyways, um, they now have Battle Right Royale, so it's pretty much... A battle royale game mode for battle right which uh, I've been playing it all morning and it's extremely fun um, I'm most likely gonna be streaming on twitch um, later on today links in the description link it and then it, it, it's everywhere you can pretty much find my twitch everywhere but anyways um, if you guys care to watch anything like that definitely check it out I'll probably be streaming a lot more on twitch a lot of different games cuz I know on YouTube I keep it mainly Naruto but um, I want to start using my Twitch for a whole bunch of other things outside of that. And I might bring it to my YouTube channel sometime. I don't know. We'll see. I know some people have requested me to play League, so, you know, whatever. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into Pain and Conan if you should summon. So, uh, right off the bat, alright. First off, if, if Pain is your favorite character or Conan's your favorite character and, like, that's all you, you love them so much, yada yada... Go ahead and summon. I mean, it's your favorite character. I can't stop you from summoning if it's your favorite character. Like, um, I summoned for Killer B, even though I told po most people not to summon, but y'all know that's my favorite character. I summoned for Madara, even though I feel like you should have summoned for Madara. I feel like that is something you should do. But, um, as far as Pain and Kana, if it's your favorite character, summon. If you're a whale, or whatever the case may be, summon, because, you know, you can do whatever you want. But, um, for the players that are, like... They don't have all the pros in the world for the players that are free to play for the players that don't know if they should do it okay um number one if you do not care about pvp pvp is not on your agenda don't summon i'm not even going to summon i have like 280 pearls i'm not going to summon because pvp doesn't matter that much to me and my pvp team is stacked right i have anniversary naruto and sasuke i have six path madara skill madara under him and i have gara and hinata my team is stacked so i don't need to summon but, um, I know most people don't have those units, so that's fine. But, um, one thing I will say. Pain is really busted. He is really, really busted, right? He, he heals 15,000 HP on his Jutsu, right? For four chakras. Not to mention, it can go up even more with abilities. He can heal every turn with abilities. And he can get damage reduction if you have his last ability, right? I'm talking strictly PvP. Because if you're, if you're summoning for PvE pain, don't do it. That's retarded. Uh, so yeah, there's that, uh, a lot of health, he's not too slow, but he can heal a lot, which is really, really good, he, he, he heals a lot, and that factor is really good, because it's like, it, it kind of keeps him from dying, because in this day and age, with, um, how many, um, how many chakra com how many combos we can get, ultra combos, there it is, how many ultra combos you can get in this day and age of blazing, he can get his jutsu off probably two times a match, and that's going to be like 30,000 HP. So, with that being said, I, I feel like he is a really good unit. I don't recommend, I don't think he's going to change the meta into, like crazily. Um, I feel like a lot of people aren't going to summon for him. Uh, and I mean, like, if you do summon for him, most of the people that summon for him are in like 10th Dan Kage. So, like, you don't, mo the majority of the fan base don't have to worry about those people. But, um, I. I feel like he's a really good unit, but what's holding him back from summoning is Conan. Conan is good. Don't get me wrong. Conan is definitely good, but I don't think she is worth the pearls. I do not think she's worth 380 or 400 pearls, whichever one it is. I don't think she's worth it. I do not think she is worth 400 pearls. And that holds you back because you don't know on the banner, you don't know who you're going to get. Right, you don't know if you're gonna get Pain or Conan. Not to mention, Haku and Choji are on the banner. Right now, if you uh, don't know what Haku does, Haku's first or second ability adds like 35% attack to um, 
against wisdom type. So Haku's do hitting wisdom units for like 38,000 damage. Choji with all his dupes hits braver units for like 50,000 plus or something like that. It's really crazy, right? But but the thing about it is, right? Um, I don't think Choji and Haku are an, are enough of a risk to drop 400 pearls. Right? I don't think there's enough of a risk. Because it's like, Choji's cool and all, Haku's cool and all, but it's like, if you have Hinata, if you have Six Path, Madara, if you have Gara, your team is pretty set. You don't really need Choji and Haku to win. Most people aren't using Haku and Choji. Everybody's still using Gara, Hinata, Six Path, Madara. Nobody's really using Choji and Haku. So based off of that fact, I can tell that they're not that crazy in the meta. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really worth it. And now as far as Conan and Agara, what? Conan and Pain? Um, I don't think they're going to be too much of a factor. And it's not so much that they're bad. It's like if you look at the if you look at the really good PvP teams right now, right? If you look at the really good PvP teams right now, they're so stacked. That's like they don't even have room for anything else. Like my, like I said, my PvP team is at top row is Gara, Hinata, Six Path Madara. My bottom row is Anniversary Sasuke, Anniversary Naruto. Uh, all of them are max, they're max duped, and then um, Skill Madara. Skill Madara is under Six Path Madara, so he can have that forty percent damage reduction because he's in the third row. Now, um, I was talking to my friend Mystic. Shout out to Mystic Watch, by the way. Um, I was talking to Mystic about you know my team and stuff, and he was like, that's probably one of the best teams out there like that's debatably one of the best teams out there and it's just like the fact that i have one of the best teams out there and those are the units it, it, it just tells you what the meta is going to be and what the meta isn't going to be so um i don't think pain and conan are going to switch change up the meta that bad i don't even think they're going to be used like that um pain might be used in pve a lot but i don't think he's going to be used that much in pvp um uh, as far as all that goes. So, yeah. As far as summoning, I don't think you should summon. I think this is a skip. Unless, you know, like I said, Pain or Conan's your favorite character. You are well, yada, yada, yada. But as far as everything else goes, I do not think you should summon for Pain and Conan. So, anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.